just got out of the shower. Feel great. It's a beautiful day outside. Not okay. There's clouds in the sky, but it's a very very blue sky. Awesome awesome weather. We are going to some place that we've bought pottery from this place for years. Even I mean I don't live in New Hampshire, but my my extended family has always lived in New Hampshire. But every time we come up, mom loves the pottery from this place. You'll see, we're, we're about to go. But we're every time we come, we get a piece of something. We have salt shakers, just jars in general. We put like tea bags in them, um, coffee mugs. We're gonna get more and you're just gonna see. The thing about this pottery though, it's 100% handmade, all of it, by people who work at the place that we're gonna go and they all have their signature on it somewhere. They're, they're like in print, so it's really personalized and they're a really cool company. I'm not gonna buy anything, but it's really cool to see it. I'm starving though, and it's 11.30, so I need to go get food. This window lighting though is fantastic. Look at this place. Salmon Falls Stoneware Traditional American Salt Glaze Pottery. Don't touch anything. Got it. I can do that. I can also do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Holy crap. I can't go up there, can I? I don't think so. So, this is like their traditional look right here. Like the gray with the blue design on it. We have a ton of these design. For most of us, we have one very similar. We have this one. No, we don't have the green. We don't have the green. All of ours are blue. We have this one. Boom, and we have this one. The butter. The butter pan. You did. You love this store. Look at all the salt. The salt and pepper shakers. How old is this place? Been here a very long time. Pretty sure we have that one. Not sure. It all looks so familiar, but I'm not exactly sure which exact pieces we have. Also pretty. They got the lighthouses. And they have whales right there. And then these are butter dishes. More whales. Hi guys. Hi. It's your first time in. So. Um, this is our potter over here. Totally doing everything right. There's no point in doing everything wrong. That's just, that's just stupid. <laughs> now, how long does it take once you put them in the kiln to bake them? Uh, probably the man, uh, Dan, he takes about an hour. The man there in the blue shirt is better qualified to answer that than me. Maybe 150 to 500. Gotta get the water out of the bottom or it'll soak through. Okay. Push that through. Half of this game is like keeping track of your tools. <laughs> you don't want to lose anything. You don't want to leave it in one of the pieces. Like any, no, there's like no end of stupid things you can do in this business. But I've done them all. So, this is actually a very deluxe experience for me because usually I run my own business and so not only do I have to wedge my own clay, I have to sell my own pots. And so it's it's kind of like a vacation to come here and just make Andy's pots. <laughs> not have to worry about like, you know. Now what symbol is yours? Um, well, I'm new. So yesterday my symbol was the turtle and today it is the oak leaf. <laughs> so we have a new symbol. So I'm the oak leaf turtle. I mean, I'm the
All right then. It's so hot, <laughs> and I'm not even in. Okay, Elise. Right, so That's where you bake the clay. You have three. But he said, so I'm guessing this one's closed and those two are open. So this one's being baked right now. This one right here. But there's two more. So that when they're finished with the pots, you set them, what do you say, you can put like a hundred of them in there. And they bake for a whole entire day. That is crazy. So much. So much pottery. Good job. And where do they go to Anchorage? But um, if they're if they need to go to Anchorage, a lot of gentlemen. Alright, we're home from lunch and we appear to be locked out. I'm sure it'll be fine. See? Yeah, I knew we'd be fine. What do you want? What do you mean what do I want? Chinese. Pineapple chicken. Huh? Pineapple chicken. Pineapple chicken? Mm hmm Okay. What else? Chicken fried rice. Um, we got pork, vegetable, oh, and pork, shrimp. Pork fried rice. We're getting one vegetable, one pork, one shrimp. Perfect. And then, well, man. We got um. Mm -hmm. We got one crab rangoon, twelve fried jumbo shrimp. Those are just the appetizers. Then we're getting chicken with cashew. I'll get a chicken with pineapple. Two sweet and sour chicken. Mushi chicken. Vegetable pork and shrimp fried rice. Three different rices. Okay. Vegetable lo mein, two of those, and a vegetable chow mein. Perfect. What's the drink? Like, is there drinks down there? I don't know. Or will they? Be, whatever. The water, I guess. Cool. Okay. Everybody's here. I'll be right down. John's here. <sighs> Dad's brother is downstairs. So, my uncle, my aunt, my cousin, um, my other aunt. Family, I'm still tired. Ah, okay. All right. For those of you who thought I look, if if I resembled Ryan Gosling in the face, just you're about to get kicked out of this. How about now? <laughs> my grandmother just gave me this hat. It was my grandfather's, and. uh She's giving out his stuff. Uh, look at this. Does do I not look like the guy from the Notebook? I think it's funny. I put it on and Lizzie's face dropped. She's like, oh, Ethan. I was like, thanks. Halloween next year. It's a good idea, right? Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now. Dinner was fantastic. Oh, so much Chinese food. Oh my goodness. Correction, it was probably Asian food is what I should say because apparently egg rolls aren't Chinese At least that's what my Chinese friend snapchatted me. I apologize. I'm gonna go to bed though I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys did something awesome. Goodbye Don't turn your head away from the bucket. You're gonna throw it in your lap.